Hello Internet people! In this video, I'll show you how to create a sitemap for WordPress website and submit it to Google Search Console in easy steps. After this video, you will feel as confident as Sexy Bill cuddling on computer. Alright, so for this to work, we will be using a plugin called Yoast SEO. It's a really popular SEO plugin and it's really good. It also creates an XML sitemap automatically. If you don't want to use a plugin, then check out the video that appears on your screen now. I know, some of you are thinking, <laughs> plugins are for losers. But I actually prefer to use a plugin for this, as your sitemap should be updated every time you create a new page or post. Let's get started by logging into your WordPress dashboard. Then in the left menu, go to the plugins and click on add new. Next, type Yoast SEO in the search field and install the Yoast SEO plugin. This might take a while, but once it's done, click on activate. Now it will take you to the plugins overview and in the left menu, you have a new item called SEO. Hover over it and choose general. This is the Yoast SEO dashboard, but you probably don't have anything here yet. We need to go into features tab here on top. This is where you can see what features Yoast includes and turn them on and off. Let's scroll down until we see XML sitemaps. Make sure it is turned on. Arnie, how do you turn on your ladies? My nipples are very sensitive. Okay, Arnie, that's a bit weird. Then click on the question mark. This will reveal a few useful links. Click on the link that says see the XML sitemap. This is an XML sitemap that Yoast SEO created on your website. This page is actually just an overview page. If you click inside of one of these, you will see the actual XML content like this one. Here you can see all my blog posts on this website. So let's go back. Next, copy the URL of the sitemap overview page. We will now submit the URL to Google. So go to Google and search for Search Console and click on the first option. Then click on Start Now. If you have an account already, you will see a page like this. If you haven't signed up to Search Console yet, then please pause this video and you need to sign up for an account and verify that you own the domain. I show you how to do it in the video that shows up on your screen now. So, double check that you have the right website in this drop down. No problemo. Next, in the left menu, go to sitemaps. Then paste the sitemap URL you copied a bit earlier into the sitemap field and click on submit. Google will now crawl your sitemap and once it's done, it will show you this message. But if you notice, in the submitted sitemaps, I get a couldn't fetch error. I did some digging and apparently sometimes there's a bug in the new search console and that you should come a day later to check if this status has changed. And once you come to this page the next day, you should see something like this. Now, if you have a new website, it might take up to weeks for you to show up in Google search results. And if you have a more established website, then it might be just minutes. You can always check if Google search has picked up your site by going to Google and searching for site colon your domain. The site colon thing is just to tell Google that you want pages only from this domain. For example, in my case, Google has picked it up, but because I've purposefully set it not to appear in Google, the only thing you can see is this thing where it's basically just saying, hey, this website exists. My name is Robert, and if you're looking to master the digital world while getting entertained, this is the channel for you. So hit that subscribe button and find the bell icon so that you get notified about new videos. Here are two videos that I think you will find useful. Whoosh!